Hello to all. I've recently designed an Excel sheet in order to carry out the automatic verification of uh, retaining walls. So in this case, it concerns the geotechnical verification of cantilever. So the sheet is very practical and easy to use. We only have to put the data here. We have to put the partial safety factors. The partial safety factor apply on the friction angle of the soil. The partial safety factor apply on the soil soil force or lateral earth force. The partial safety factor apply on the switchage. The partial safety factor apply on the wall itself. That is the self weight of the wall. And the partial safety factor apply on the global resistance of the wall. Those partial safety factors depends on the norm that we use for the verification of the retaining wall. For example, the hero code. The other input parameters are the geometry, geometry data. So uh, here we have A, B, C, D, and so on, which represent the different parts of the retaining wall. So we only have to put the different values of those parts. Finally, the last input data are the material properties, where we have the friction angle, of the of the backfill the cohesion of the backfill the serve the unit weight of the backfill and the unit weight of concrete and here we have to put the the value of the surcharge if there is any on the backfill once we have uh, complete proper values here we can go to observation in order to check whether all the observations are good or not here we have to see all short hill, all your calculations are valid. This observation is related to the fact that there are two types of cantilever retaining walls. There are short hill and long hill. This sheet has been designed for the verification of short hill and I have done another excel sheet in order to verify long hill. Therefore, you have to put your Gmail, your Gmail account uh, in comments in order for me to send you those files the two files the verification of short hill and the verification for long hill after we have the three basic verification of uh, uh, retaining walls which are sliding toppling and bearing and in this case with respect to the data that we have completed here all the verification are, are good and here we have the different factor of safety with respect to sliding, toppling, and bearing capacity and all is well. If one verification here is not good, we just have to change the geometry and uh, put the proper geometry in order to have all of this verified. So as you see, this is uh, very easy to use and uh, you have because you just have to manage this uh, sheet with the dif different data and look at the observation or, and the results. All the different computations are done here. So you can have any detail on the active earth pressure coefficient, for example, and uh, maybe the active earth thrust and how we have computed the wall geometry and eccentricity, the verification of sliding, toppling and uh, bearing capacity. So all the computations have been done have been done here and we just have to come on this first sheet and see the result. It's all for this video. If it has been interesting, just like, comment and uh, subscribe to my channel in order to receive the notifications of the next videos. Ciao.